And welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to some more Dragon Quest. We are still in Phenomenon, but we are about to move on to now what? Which is incredibly weird to say out loud, but that's what we're doing. Uh, we still need to explore the rest of this town, however. I don't think we've quite explored it all. Like I say, there's some barrels here that I think I may have missed. In the upper part of town, bit of gold. There's a church and a locked door here. Oh, apparently there's a locked door. I don't actually see one. Hello? Been making souvenirs here in Phenomenon for many, many years. Always, I could only uh, just scrape it by from selling my work, but after they found the mural, everything changed. Now I have enough money to live comfortably and even buy gifts for my granddaughter. Aw, isn't that nice? Well, I'll read your book, matey, whatever it is. Ah! Dragony Designs. Oh, Wyvern Wands and Dragon Tail Whips. I believe I've just bought a Wyvern Wand. I'm not sure about the whip. Is that what Sylv's got? No, he's got the Scorpion Tail. But, uh, yeah, I definitely bought one of those for uh, Serena. But, oh well, it doesn't matter. We've got plenty of money. We got loads of money. It's fine. Thanks to our famous mural, people will buy any old rubbish if you say it will bring them good luck. Um, yeah, maybe not say that to a possible customer. Mm-hmm. I think you've blown it, mate. I think you've blown it. And by the way, what the hell are you selling? Like hay? Rope? Some dishes? Christ. No one's going to think they're souvenirs. Or good luck charms. Well, maybe, maybe some people do. I don't know. Alright, anything around this lovely house? No. Nope. Uh, I'll go inside. Still loving this armor. I th ah, so freaking cool. Hello. My husband and I came to Phnomenon on our honeymoon. Once we'd seen the lady in the mural, though, we just knew we had to stay. I can honestly say that we've been happy ever since. I know some people don't believe in the mural's blessings, but it's definitely brought us plenty of good fortune. Hey, positivity, you know, it's all in the mind, I think. If you believe things will work out, they usually do, kind of. I know that's kind of rich coming from me, because I'm such a pessimist, but... <clears throat> anyway... I, uh, I do actually think that's the case. Same with bad things, though. I don't know. It's all a bit of, It's all a lot of bollocks, in it? Fortune and fate and luck. Even cloth. Oh. What do I do with that? Oh, little kid sleeping. I like my Betty Buys very, very much. Me too. It is actually morning, though. Shouldn't you be getting up? Shouldn't your parents be, you know, getting you out of bed? I mean, for me, unfortunately, I'm at that stage of my life where, uh... No, no one really tells me what to do, so I... I have got some rather bad habits. But, uh, like napping, just randomly, during the day, when I feel like it. It's great, but it's probably not the best for me. Right. Hello. Maybe you are skeptical about the mule's powers, but I'm telling you, she's the real deal. She certainly brought me good fortune. Moving here was the best thing I ever did. Honestly, if you want to live an happy life, just give up on all your adventures and settle down here. You won't regret it. That's not probably how he sounds. I think we established that they're Australian. There's nothing on these little balconies. That's so disappointing. <sighs> oh wait, no, there's some pots. Right round the corner. So we run around like a madman to smash them. Like a madman. Oh, mini medal! Ooh, you know what that means. We have enough for our next reward, which I've been told is a new... Uh, is an appearance-changing bit of kit for Rab, so... You know what? We might go do that quickly at the Academy, and we might be able to buy some materials there. So I really wouldn't mind getting... Um, getting a new piece of kit for Rab, because he's the only one that hasn't had any. And I kind of feel sorry for him. 
Uh, you must make the most of it. Worry about the future when your holiday's over. For now, spend and play and enjoy the mural's gifts. Apart from the mural, what else is there to really do here, though? How many more steps? I'm bushed. These ruins can't be much further, can they? Mustn't give up. Whew. Nope, gotta pull myself together. Get to the get to the mural and get me a double open of the good old fortune. Uh, I mean, there's a few steps. I don't think I would suffer too much, and I'm not in great shape. Uh, I think you're just being a bit of a soft ass. Uh, I believe I've missed a few materials in the Eerie. Uh, I've missed a chest or two. Also, probably missed a chest or two in the uh, Champ Sauvage, or whatever you call it. I don't know how you pronounce that crap. So I will go back and get those eventually. The Rough Planet Guide to Phnom Non. Since its discovery deep within the ruins, the beautiful smiling mural of Now What has gained something of a reputation for blessing visitors with good fortune and drawing sightseers from across the world. The ruins themselves are thought to be uh, all that remains of a once powerful civilization that was destroyed under mysterious circumstances hundreds of years ago. But what could have spelled the end for such a, uh, so large a kingdom, blessed with such natural riches and nestled within the safety of the mountain valleys? This is an enigma that has long troubled historians. A king gone mad, driving his own legacy to ruin? An unforeseen and unprecedented natural disaster? A concentrated and cataclysmic attack by monsters? Hypoth hypotheses abound, but the mystery remains unsolved. When you pay visits to Now What, be sure to visit the mural and enjoy the blessings it gives. Okie dokie. So, I... It's gotta, it's gotta have been that Mordigan, hasn't it? It's got to have been. More even cloth. Or even cloth. How would you say that? You've come to see the lady in the mural too? I think so. I do not understand why is she is so popular with the city people. But now they are coming here in big groups. Uh, the mayor seems very, very happy about this at least. Of course he would be. It's business, isn't it? Is this the mayor? Uh, tourists are much more than sources of income to us. We like to think of you... <laughs> think that you are people too. Oh, great. Thanks, man. Isn't that nice? We're people, guys. Now we must pay visits to the ruins of Now What before... Uh... Oh, sorry, you. Uh, before you leave, the Lady in the Mural is sure to bring good fortune to you. And to you, it seems. Not the same kind, though. Well, oh, I'm so glad he thinks we're people. That's good. Oh, hey, Rap. What are you doing? This isn't the easiest place to get around if your legs aren't what they used to be. Aww. Eric and the others have already gone uh, ahead to the ruins. I'm just taking a wee rest here. <laughs> then I'll catch up. You go on ahead. Okay. Uh, well, this is the church. Anything to do in here apart from save? Not really. To tell the truth, we do not have many visitors here at our church. Most people are too excited by the ruins and the mural. I think so. It is a little bit sad. Well, yeah, I've at least I've come said hello. I'm not using your services just yet, but I've said hello. And I've left your door open, because I'm very inconsiderate. I did see a pot behind there. How do I get it? How do I get it? There we go. Thinking sense. Oh, little doggy! Oh, it's a little pupper! He's so cute! That little noise was adorable. Anything here? Right upstairs. Ah, oh, there's finally a chest in that location. Sweet! God, it's amazing how fast you run. Ten perfectionist pearls! That ain't too bad. That ain't too bad at all. Right, well, we'll explore this house, and then we'll quickly nip back to the academy. And see where we can buy some ingredients, and also... Uh... What was I, what was I gonna do back at the academy again? Oh yeah, get the... Get the thing for Rab? Was that, 
my mind has got... You know what? I'm I'm really in a daze for some reason. I don't quite know why. Uh, what was I going to do? I'll be right back, guys. Oh, that's it. Oh, man, I just had the most major brain farts. I'm going to trade in the mini medals. My God. I can't believe that it took me so long to, to remember. Holy crap, guys. <laughs> I might, should I even be recording this? I mean, I, I do want to get a video up for you guys, but honestly. Uh, I know that I drink too much, <laughs> but uh, since my wife died, I feel so sad. You're a tourist, I think so. Uh, there's nothing for you in this house. Probably want the mural, yes? It's in the ruins up the stairs. And over the hill. Alright. Okay. Thanks, man. Sorry about to, to hear about your wife. I will read your book, though. Man, I can't believe I completely forgot what the hell I was going to do at the Academy. Uh, it's a picture book entitled Wish Upon My Star. Aww. I will ask Yggdrasil to make me a star and place me high up in the sky. Whenever you are sad and lonely, even when you are happy, I can look up. You can look up and see me watching over you. So, my dear Nisse, don't cry. Keep your eyes dry and we can turn them upward. And find Mama. Well, that's awfully uh, cheery. Well, can't, well, kind of. Not really, though. Anywho. Let's see. I think that's pretty much phenomenon completely scoured for goodies, isn't it? Yeah, we spoke to the, I'm guessing, the mayor. And now we've just got the stairs to go up. So, I'm going to quickly zoom back to the academy and do what I completely forgot I was going to do. Get Rab his uh, new bit of kit. Apparently, when you trade in 30 mini medals, which we should have now. We should do. So, I'll just cut to when I'm uh, trading those in with the, the headmaster. Here he is. Okay. See that you have brought five mini medals, magnifique. Yes. Kit's fit for a king. A maximally uh, magnificent prize indeed. What luck Major acquires the recipe book. He takes a look inside. Uh, a crown of Dundrasil and D uh, Drasilian dress coats. Ooh, that does sound uh, quite nice. At 35, we'll get a falcon blade. Ooh, that does sound good. That sounds like something that Mage might be using. Is there anything going to be in these pots? I know I broke them last time. <laughs> no. Right, uh, so where do I buy... Oh, the item shop's just near the inn. We'll go uh, see what materials they sell. Might just buy a bit of everything just in case. I get nervous when I speak to strangers. My tentacles won't stop wobbling. Ah, oh, don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. I get anxiety though, I do. Ooh, we could get a silver tiara. Which is just basically defense and some ch quite a lot of charm, wow. Uh, safety goggles. Chance of being beguiled reduced by 10%. That's alright. Ah, we can buy eyes here, yes. Perfect. Well, I'm not sure I need them. Here's an ally of confusion. I'm going to buy a few of these angel bells, just in case we get confused in the next fight. Uh, we'll give one... Hmm. We'll give them to Rab. Dun, 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 We'll buy one more green eye. Red eye. Did you, uh, did you guys ever see that film? With, uh, what's his face and what's her face? Who did I give that to? I, I just put it in the bag. Just put it in the bag, mate. I don't need to be carrying that in battle. With, uh, Killian Murphy and, uh, Rachel McAdams. It's not a bad film. It goes a bit silly towards the end, but it's not bad. Uh, is there anything I can do for you? No. Come again, any slime. Will do. 
Right, so now we need to go to a campsite. Well, actually, I could probably just check now, couldn't I? Fun-sized forge. Armor. Clothing. Now we need a uh, red eye silk blossom. We can make that for grab. And what about the hat? Where is it? Where is the hat? The crown. Oh, is it? Is it another crown? Is it a helmet? Oh, it is. It's a helmet. Oh, could make that too. We've got just enough. Excellent. Right, let's go and make that. Let's see you at the campsite, chaps. Oh, no new uh, levels at the forge. That's sad. I've been taking those for granted because every single time I've been making camp, I've been getting some new stuff, but it's all right. Let's forge, grab his new stuff, make the crown of Dundrasil, can heal a few MP after battle. Sweet. Yeah, I didn't actually check the stats, but uh, I'm sure it'll be good. So, Flourish, let's do a Quadra Bash. Ooh, that top right one's filling up nicely. Uh, should I risk it? I don't know if I should risk another Quadra Bash. Hmm, we're gonna do it. Oh, just, just about okay. Power of next strike doubled. Oh, is that just in the green? I hope that's it. No, I think that went over. It did. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Shit. Crap. <laughs> Sorry, Rab. I think we fucked this. If we can get a perfect on the last one, maybe, that'd be great, but I don't think so. No, I'm sorry, buddy. This is going to be pretty crappy for you, but... We can rework it. We do have quite a few pearls now, so... I'm not too worried. Yeah, success. Oh, we got a plus one from it. That's surprising. Uh, looked like a pretty nice crown, too. Right, clothing... Do, do, do. Wait a goddamn minute. Oh, I thought we had enough things. We need more silk blossom. Shucks. Sugar butties. Can I buy silk blossom from the dude? Excuse me, mate. Do you have silk blossom? Otherwise, I'm going to have to go find some. Oh, he just has glimmer grass, not silk blossom. Fuck. Bollocks. Oh, I really want that. Where can I find Silk Blossom? I can't remember. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Item list. Silk Blossom. Where are you? Silk Blossom. You can get them from Bite Bulbs, Rotten Tails, Dundrasil, Puitavalor. Or on some random islands. Ah, oh, shucks. Right, well, I'm going to go off screen and go try and find some. Or buy some. Whatever happens first. Right, guys. Okay, I did manage to find one more glimmer grass just outside of Puerto Velour. But, for some reason, I can't get it to spawn again. It probably just needs more time to have passed. And for the life of me, I can't find any anywhere else. I know there is some, but I, can I find it? No. And I don't think I can be bothered going to all the islands. So, I'm just going to continue on. Uh, sorry about that, Rab, um, but you will get at least your crown instead of your uh, Thief's Turban. Which will definitely help quite significantly with the old magic department. Holy shit. And unfortunately, we just can't finish off the, uh, the get-up quite yet. But next time, guys, definitely, we'll probably make that. So, we're going to continue on. That took forever for me to do, by the way. To look for that goddamn glimmer grass. Ugh. Like a good 15 minutes at least, so. It's about time we did something, isn't it? Oh, hello. What's Sylv doing? Mother! 
<laughs> Not another little crying kid. Doesn't it just break your heart? The poor things lost her parents. Oh, don't cry, sweetie. It's all right. We'll help you find them. Now, why don't you tell me your name? Does that? Yeah, but are they dead? Dora. Oh, was she an explorer? M my name's Dora. Oh, no, it's your I name. I came here with my mother and father, but, but then they left me behind. What kind of shitty parents would do that? They said that the mural was going to make them rich, and, and then they just went. <laughs> well, that sucks. I assumed that they were dead. Like, <laughs> I mean, I, I did go for the worst possible case scenario, but... Please this ain't much better. I want, I want them back so badly. <laughs> oh, there, there, little one. We'll find out where they've gone. Don't you worry. Uh, I think we know where they've gone. They've gone to the mural. I'll take the town. You search the ruins, okay? Why are you searching the town? They are not going to be in the town. They're going to be in the ruins. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Sylve's detective agency to the rescue. Let the search begin! Okay, he's got a name for it. Of course he does. <sighs> hey, kid. Looks like I'm searching the ruins, then. At least, I mean, Sylph should still be available to us, of course, but... It just seems strange that he would want to search the town. When it's obviously n that's not the place. Wow, what a view, though. Alright, we are officially on the path to the ruins. And I've heard that this place is quite tricky. And there's some big events happening, so I can't wait. Nearly there. Okay, there, there's a few steps, but you know. Not too bad. Dude singing about the mural. What's the bet? And we're gonna have to rescue these these people from something nasty. I can feel it. Can you feel it? I certainly can. Yes, a mysterious force emanating from the ruins. You develop an awareness of these things when you've seen as much of the world as I have. Oh, by the way, did you know that the person who discovered the mural in the ruins disappeared in mysterious circumstances? Huh. I thought that would get your attention. Oh, you're not interested in that? You want to help a little girl who's lost her parents? Pfft. Ask someone else. I got bigger fish to fry. Well, I thought you were a nice person at first, but, um, turns out you're a bit of a fucking stench trench, aren't you, eh? Some rats. And another locked door. Anything behind here? Nope. Man, it feels like I've barely been recording, but I've, I've like, clocked over 40 minutes, but that is just because it took me forever to realise I'm not going to get all the glimmer grass I want. Uh, well, well, a fellow scholar. Don't ask me how I know, but it's just, uh, it's just a gift I have. You're here to investigate these ruins as well, aren't you? Uh, but of course you are. Who could resist the chance to poke around among the mysteries of now what? It's the last remaining relic of a long-lost kingdom, you know. And just how does something like this happen, I hear you ask? Well, how does a kingdom, an entire kingdom, fall into ruins? That's what I'm here to find out. Well, good luck. I don't think you're going to figure anything out. Myself no one else has in all this time, but you never know. Might as well try. At least I tried, goddammit. Ah, how has no one seen this little chest? Not explored the ruins that well, have they? Knickknacks for nifty knickers. <laughs> yeah. Blood letters, sword breakers. Ooh, that's what I was going to buy as well. Excellent. We can save a bit of money on that. And Thief's Turbans, which we already have. Rubber Gloves, we already have. And Gloomy Gloves, we don't have. Interesting. And hello, Ghost Penguin. I saw you then. I saw you. There you are. Hiding away there, trying to be sneaky. Right, nothing else going on outside. Right. Well, I guess we'll go inside. This dude looks happy. The ruins at last, Bonza! Yeah, happy, happy to find them. And we're, uh, we're 
very much happy to go inside. Here we go. Again, looks very similar to the rooms we've been in previously. Another grubby bandage. Oh, here they are. Here's the gang. Ah, that's the mural. Oh, this place isn't that big at all. Hey, guys. You came for a look at the mural everyone's talking about too, huh? Well, here it is. I guess it is pretty impressive. I still don't believe all that stuff about it being lucky, though. Oh, there's a tear in it. Hmm. She's not exactly in the best condition. But yes, you're right. She's beautiful. Hmm. What are you looking at, Serena? Looking at her tits? Yeah. What's that around her neck? Oh. It looks like some kind of strange key. Sorry, I thought you were... Anyway. <clears throat> I wonder. Not just any old strange key. Serena, that's the magic key. I'm sure of it. The magic key. Do we get this soon? I hope so. <sighs> oh. Was that my stomach? Was that your stomach, Veronica? <laughs> You're hungry again? Sheesh. It did kind of sound like a stomach grumble, though. No, it was not. <laughs> Maybe if you weren't so clearly distracted by this impressive lady here, you'd realize that didn't sound anything like my tummy rumbling. Oh, you're so cute, Veronica, when you get mad. Oh, shut up, you little brat. Oh, I saw where your, your stomach's eyes were uh -oh. going. Guys, guys. Something's happening. Uh oh. Oh, it stopped. Yeah. Oh, you guys, you've ruined it. There she blows. And just like she looked in my dreams, too. This little beauty's gonna make old Bazza rich. Bazza. Hey, there's plenty of room for everybody to look, you know. Hmm. I know your game, Spikey. Well, you can't keep it all to yourselves, you know. We deserve a chance to get rich, too. Excuse me? Stop trying to hog all the good luck, you selfish so-and-sos. How can you hog all of the good luck? Just just think about how stupid that sounds when you say it out loud. Yeah. Give someone else a chance to be happy, why don't you? Um, I think we should probably leave, don't you? Uh, that's probably a good idea. Mm. But the, the key was glowing. Please tell me someone saw that. Wow. I was pretty keen to see the mural, but clearly not as keen as some. Hmm. What is it? Is there something else worrying you? Yeah, the key totally glowed, dude. Huh. So you're looking for this kid's parents, huh? Oh shit, yeah, you know what, I completely forgot about that. Where the hell are our parents? Well, we got nothing better to do. Let's see what we can find. There you are, my trusty sidekick! Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Alas, I found no sign of the missing persons in town. Did you have any luck here? Why are you putting on a voice, Sylv? <laughs> no, we haven't had any luck. Hmm, Which is funny, because it's supposed to give you luck. mystery indeed. Ah, but I am forgetting our young client. A detective cannot leave a child in distress. Come, we must find her. You should have really taken her with you to begin with. But then again, that's kind of dodgy, just saying, Hey kid, follow follow this weird dude. I'll find your parents. Hmm. Anyway, now what do we do? Ah! Now what do we do? Ah! <clears throat> so, yeah, seriously though, now what do we do? There's something wrong, there's something with that key. I'm telling you, I can't wait to get my hands on it. I've no idea how we're going to get our hands on it, but we're, it's going to happen. And uh, I don't see uh, this kid's parents anywhere, at least anyone that looks like they could be. Hmm. Alright, back up the steps it goes. It goes? We go. Get that exercise, get that cardio in. 
I mean, yeah, I, I probably would be a little bit knackered, actually. Especially running up them at this pace. Hey, Sylph, what are you doing? You've lost little Dora? Oh no, she probably went off exploring, though. Finish her parents. Fi what? Finish her parents? That's not what I meant to read. First her parents, and now her. What's going on in this crazy village? Well, we've heard of some disappearances. I wonder if they're all, uh... I wonder if this is the same sort of thing. She went that way, someone will have seen her. Yeah, okay, let's go back into town. Let's go find the poor little minx. Excuse me. Oh, I can't talk to them. Oh, what a nice little bench, though. I'd love to sit here and have a nice bit of a, bit of a snack. Right, what's going on? Anyone see anything? Veronica, any luck? Oh, yeah, you don't actually know what she looks like. That could be a problem. Uh, Serena and the others have headed back toward the village square. You should probably go and help them look down there. Okay, will do. Excuse me, sir. Uh... Oh! The journey here was quite frightful. Still, if it helps one's little princess get the mark she deserves, maybe she should just study. Maybe that'll help more than praying to a mural. I don't know. Just spitballing here. Oh, the little puppy's still here. Oh, he's so cute. He's much cuter than you, Max. A little shit. But he barking before for no reason. As usual. Right. Ah, I've spoken to you. Yada yada yada. Right, where's the rest of the gang? Hey, Jade! Being separated from your parents at uh, that age is hard and lonely. Yeah, you would, you should, you should definitely know that. Uh, let's try and find her mother and father as quickly as we can. Alright. Cutscene time. You are visitors here, yes? You come from far, far away? Welcome to Phnom Non. <laughs> Hi. First, I should introduce myself, I think. My name is Moni, and I am Phnom Non's number one memorabilia merchant. Listen, I don't want your sales pitch, dude. We've got other problems right now. If you want a souvenir of your trip or some tasty local produce, you must come to me. I have the best deals in town. Hmm. Uh, it's no good. We've searched high and low, but we can't find her anywhere. The poor little darling has disappeared. <gasps> you are searching for someone, yes? Then you are very lucky. Oh? Do you know how to find people? Yes. Well, no. Not me, but my wife. She is the boss of the inn in this village. She knows everything about people who are coming and going here. Agree to spend the night between our clean and sumptuous sheets, and I'm certain she will share with you her knowledge. Okay, so how much is it going to cost? You do not need to worry about the cost. Oh. The first night, we will offer entirely for free. You are happy with this deal, yes? This seems too good to be true. Um, what happens if I say no? I know what you're thinking. There's no such thing as a free lunch. But we might as well just try it for one night. Shall we? No. Well, you can be as stubborn as you like. But it's not <laughs> like there's anywhere left to look for your little friend. I know what you're thinking. There's no Okay, such right, yeah, get it. Good. Very good. I will tell my wife that you are coming. She will be expecting you whenever you are ready. Okay. Guess we're staying the night. Still got to say. Oops. Where's little Dora gone? I can't see her anywhere. Maybe we should go ask the guy's wife at the inn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Reception is upstairs. You can stay anytime you like. Thanks, man. Okay, he wasn't too bad. But I'm still mm, still suspicious. Still a bit suspicious. They're gonna they're gonna throw some sort of charge at us without uh, without telling us immediately. Ooh. Barrels. I'm 
so hoping that would be some glimmer grass. Oh, I was so hoping it would be glimmer grass. Um, saying that, I wonder if now maybe the item is respawned. I don't know how the game manages that. Because I've managed to find a lot of sparkling spots that have respawned rather quickly, it seems, but maybe I've just not been paying attention. I wonder if we could go back. I might just... Oh, I don't know. Actually, no, we'll stay at the end first. Talk to this dude. Um, should sit down and enjoy a freshly cooked meal. A lot of this food looks amazing, apart from that fish, which looks terrifying. Some crabs. See, yeah, seafood isn't my thing. I'm more into the chicken and the turkeys. Yes. I've just made myself hungry now. Great. Well done, mage. Well done. Ah, so this must be the dude's wife? Well, hang on a second, because let's have a look in here first. Nothing? Ooh, no, we got a book. Uh, the Astonishing Inventions of Gizmo Mecha Mechanico? Many, among many of my fabulous creations left behind, many fabulous creations left behind by the renowned engineer Gizmo, uh, perhaps the best known is the stunning ship known as the Salty Stallion. Oh, dude! That's our boat! No other vessel in Adrea can match this incredible craft in terms of beauty and speed. The quali uh, quality experts tell us is imparted by its uniquely shaped prow. Most boats are designed to cut through the water like a knife, but the salty stallion weaves through it instead like a needle through silk. It is, it is a pretty cool ship. Uh, a, rem a renowned entertainer, a close personal friend of the ship's designer. Oh, that's how Sylv got it then, because he knew the dude that made it. Maybe. It doesn't actually specifically say who the entertainer is. I still think Sylv stole it. <laughs> but uh, maybe I'm just being NASA. Bronze helmet. Is that going to be good for anyone? Uh, not really, I don't think. Anyway, let's stay, let's stay the night. My husband has told me about you. You will be staying tonight, I think so? You will be right. The little girl who's lost. Uh, why are you asking me, please? Ah, oh, god damn it, he did trick us. Sorry to disappoint you, but I do not know anything about your missing girl. Well, yeah, I kind of, like, why would she know? Please do not be angry. I will let you stay one night for free. Then everything will be alright, I think so. Well, we were going to stay for free anyway. Okay, fine. I'm sure this isn't the best thing to do, though. Let's just gonna let this girl get further away. Maybe we should have just carried on looking. I don't know. Well, that was a waste of time. Do you know a man named Bazza? He is also a guest here, but he did not return last night. Oh my god, more people disappearing. He was very keen indeed to see the mural. I hope he did not injure himself in his haste to get there. Something fish is going on. And it isn't just the food on the in the pub. No, something is afoot. Excuse me, mate. You've got some explaining to do. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, but uh, I do not know anything. I'm sure my wife can help you. You lying bastard. People become lost in phenomenon every day. Usually they can be found in the last place you saw them. People are strange like that. I think so. Well, I guess we don't have any other course of action. We're gonna have to go back to where we last saw her. Because, uh, otherwise I really have no clue. Oh, you know what? I'm so tempted to. You know what? I'm gonna quickly off-screen go back and see if I can grab some more glimmer grass. Okay, guys? I'll be right back. Okay, we're back at the forge, guys. I think I have the materials I need. So let's do this. Let's make Rab his new outfit. The, uh... Oh, dude, seriously? It's... Oh my god, I'm an idiot. It's Silk Blossom, not Glimmer Grass. Oh, you spoon. Oh, no. Fudge bucket. Okay, guys, I finally narrowed down where to find freaking... Silk Blossom, not bloody Glimmer Grass. I do need Glimmer Grass, but I've got plenty of that. That's why I got confused 
Oh, I'm silly. Ah, uh, so we still need one more of those, so I don't know how often this thing's going to respawn. So, I don't know. But, um, I've probably done enough for one video anyway. So next time, guys, we'll hopefully make Rab's new bit of kit. With the right materials this time. And, uh, yeah, then we'll go try and find this missing girl. And a bunch of other people that seem to be going missing. This is very weird. Oh, I'm getting flashbacks to Octagonia. I hope there's no other massive spider stealing people's essence. That would suck. But yes, thank you for watching, guys. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.